forced into a dialysis clinic in Kaimuki, injuring at least six people and leaving a big mess. Police aren't saying what caused the crash, but the driver is among those hospitalized. Our Benga Terrace was there on Coco Head Avenue. This is what's left of the waiting room of Liberty Dialysis after an SUV crashed into it about 5 o'clock this afternoon. A 51-year-old man was taken to the hospital in critical condition after the crash in the parking lot at the corner of Coco Head and Harding Avenues. Two other men in their 70s, including the SUV's driver, were seriously injured. City Emergency Services says three others refused treatment for minor injuries. A second vehicle, which appeared to have been parked at the time, was damaged when it may have been pushed into a tree on the other side of the lot. Dozens of police officers responded, but the circumstances are still unclear, even after hours of examining the scene. Much of the SUV's passenger side and front sustained major damage. Broken glass and toppled furniture filled the waiting room, with a large piece of the window ending up several feet away. It's not known if there were people in the waiting room at the time. Liberty Dialysis said in an email that its focus was to support those who were injured and ensuring that other patients received their daily treatments. It also said the clinic itself was still operational and would continue to take in patients, even if one large wall is missing. Fortunately, the treatment area itself was spared. HPD did not make any comment. The investigation is still continuing. In Kaimuki, Ben Gutierrez, Hawaii News Now.